What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 25th XHTML and CSS tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to style links. And if you guys are like, alright, I know that a link is A, so if I just go ahead and type A and write how I want the link to appear, it's good. No need to watch this tutorial. Well, not so fast because a link is actually a lot more complicated than you might think. A link is actually composed of something called states and a state is basically when and how you press the link. So I'm just going to go through the different states and then you guys are going to understand what I'm talking about. There's one link for when the page is first visited. There's another state for when the link has been clicked. There's another state for as you're mousing over the link and there's the last state is as your mouse button is down and as you are clicking the link. So one link can have four different styles and they typically do have four different styles believe it or not. So let's go ahead and uh, let me show you how to not only change the styling on a link but change the styling on each different state. So let's go ahead and just add um, well first of all we know that the element for link is A so let's go ahead and add a link on our screen. So a href, whoa, hello, a href equals, of course, is going to go to the new boston.com and just type the new boston and check it out. And we'll just actually add some. This is just normal text. So now we have a link. And when we refresh it, we have a link and some normal text. But as you can see, whenever we are hovering over it or whenever we are um, clicking it, it changes the red. So we can begin to see the different kind of states right now. But maybe we don't want it to be, you know, purple by default or when we click it to turn red. Those are the things we're going to adjust. So by default, before you even click a link, it's going to be at its default state and that is a semicolon link. The A stands for the anchor of course which is the element in the semicolon and the name after it this is the state so now this is basically the default link now we can style it what it is by default and let's just go ahead and add color red and text decoration uh, which we'll set this to none. Now the text decoration you can either have this like underline or I think um, there's something called like strike through or line through or something. No one ever use it. It's basically underline or none. So first let me point this out before I confuse you guys. When I refresh this you says by default it doesn't turn red. That's because I already went to this site before plenty of times the newboston.com. So actually what state we're looking at right now is visited. So let's go ahead and edit that right now. A visited is when you already clicked a link and you know it's like links visited. You know what it means. Why am I even explaining this to you? So we want the links that we already visited let's go ahead and just turn them green something real simple so now when we go ahead and save and refresh this since this link has already been visited that's why it's gonna appear green just like that so now we know how to adjust the style for default links that we haven't been to and links that we have been to now I told you guys that there are other states other than this and that is one their state is when you are hovering over the link. Now this doesn't matter if you already been to it or you have um, not been to it. When you're hovering over it, you're hovering over it. So let's go ahead and make this one a lot different. So background, color, let's just change this to blue. Change the background to blue. And uh, what else can we do? Change the color of the text to white. That might make it a little, little easier to read. Put text decoration underline I always like hovering over to be underlined so in order to do that you need to change the property called text decoration and let's just go ahead font weight bold make sure I spell that right good enough so now whenever you hover over it let me just go ahead and do this whenever you hover over it um, you get a blue background you can see the text changes from green to white you get an underline and your font turns from regular to bold. 
pretty cool huh so that is like uh, how to make your website kind of dynamic and changing using just basic CSS so you know just thought I'd throw that out there so now the one last state I want to cover is called the active state now the active state is as you are pressing down and your finger is holding down that button this is the active state so a active what do we want to do when our mouse button is active let's just go ahead and do something simple change the background color to orange simple enough so let's go ahead and save this and let me explain to you guys what my finger is doing alright right now I'm just moving my mouse now I'm hovering over it so that's where the A hover comes into play and now I'm clicking down maybe you can hear me here let me maybe you can hear my mouse see now I'm holding it down now it's active and of course if I let go it's gonna go ahead and take me to the greatest website ever the new boston.com there we go welcome to the new boston hmm, have to check this out later but anyways that is the basics of the different states I mean before you might be thinking alright a link's a link a link a link but no it's actually composed of four different states and that's what get a lot of people hung up and confused but now you guys have the edge on them because you understand those different states and how you can alter them so that's all I got for you guys for this tutorial um, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later